Welcome back to Fairy Tale Dungeons. Apparently, I unlocked a new zone, Nether Palace. I think this is a different like game mode, an infinitely expanding abyss. So I'm assuming this is like an infinite. Yeah, it's basically you just go until you lose, which is something I might do later on. But I'm definitely not going to explore that right now. I think we're going to just head back into yeah, just the regular labyrinth. Difficulty two. I do want to get a different Urza deck, although I'm not sure we have the the unlocks for it. Definitely going to grab a few new... Wait, do I have that? I thought I got that amulet that increases damage taken for enemies, but I guess not. I do have the attack up for four turns, which is pretty good. Oh no, this is it, right? Yeah, this is it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 this is it. Okay, so we'll do that and then we'll add probably just, yeah, the base combo. Wait, what is this? Place a slash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll just use the armor. So we'll do the armor and then the damage taken increase. I think it's... Is the damage taken increase more damage than attack up? That's a good question right now. So let's say 25%. We know what this card does. So 8 damage. So that would be 2 damage. So actually, it is worse. So this is actually better. So for now, we're going to use this. All right. Let's run this. Gonna kind of speed run through things. Try to get a good Urza build. Uh, I think our other one is okay, but the tree could use a little bit of help. Like a little bit of an improvement, so. Go with this, probably. Okay, so, yeah. Wait, do you get to keep the additional skills? Yeah, you do, right? Okay. Never mind. All right, let's go up. I kind of wish there was a difficulty between two and three. That was actually, like, somewhat challenging, but not, not nearly impossible. Which I, I do feel like difficulty three is very, very difficult as it is. Um, got 15 here. We got a block, which is fine, I guess. I don't remember what the magic chain does. Is it plus five? Yeah, it is. So plus five on the AOE. Pretty good stuff. Oh yeah, the first skill we got is fine, yeah. 25, can I just do 25 straight up? So 997, 1825, yeah, that is enough. Is it worth going for when I can just redraw into, into that? Uh, yeah, I guess if we, if we can win without Oh, also does damage here. If we can win without... Oh, nice crit. Wait, it had armor. Am I dumb? Yeah, I am dumb. <laughs> it did have armor, so actually I was not going to kill it, but whatever. 10, 12, yep. All right, good stuff. The 4 attack bonus is really helping out here. Twenty percent chance to stun. Do we have a combo with that or no? Yeah, I'm looking for Fire Empress Armor, which is going to combo. That would be nice, actually, to have double AoE, but I'm assuming this is a two cost, but that's okay. Uh, Take or not. I feel like I don't want it. I just look to make the deck as tight as possible. Hmm. So much incoming damage too. Nine AOE, so I could redraw. Try to find the combo. Probably is worth it. 12, 14, that's one down. Other one's not down, unfortunately. I can kill this. Two down, good enough. So for now, the only character that I think I have like pretty locked in in terms of build is Gray. I think my Gray deck is so insane, it's going to be hard to find a better one. The rest is kind of up in the air. Soaring Armor. Is that this? No. Hmm. I really want this. Am I just trying to skip like all the cards that are not going to be that Im Important for my theoretical build? Probably.
Nope. We did get this, which is part of that combo. This is insane, though. I, I feel like this, you should always take one of these, because 25% crit... Oh, that's a crit multiplier. Oh. I think I always misunderstood this. I thought it was just a crit boost, but it's a crit multiplier boost. It's not that good. This is a crit boost. We could go this direction, I guess. I'll leave it on the table. I'll just take it. Well, I mean, we're getting a lot of extra skills, which is great. It's a great start to the run. 14. Fortunately, I'm slightly off on this, but it could crit. So this is down. This is also down. So I might take 9, which is fine. Crit? Nice. Alright, sick. What's going to be our defense? Oh. Awesome. No, I definitely want this. Break through enemy guard attack up. That could be good, but... Perform a crit attack up. That's really good. I think. Yeah, we have some... Yeah, we have some crit chance stuff. Pretty high crit chance stuff. Plus the crit buff to start things off. And the crit buff from um, one of the skills. 10, 9... Yeah, sure. Twelve and seven. That's enough. Thankfully. Hopefully I can build this uh theoretical AoE deck. It's gonna be pretty cool. If we can get to that. Yep. Slack room up. Start getting rid of this trash. So do comment down below. Someone mentioned that it might be better to make a small deck in this game. I still don't think so, but obviously I'm not as far as a lot of you. So if you have any opinions on that, whether you like having a small deck that's like maybe like eight cards or something, I just think that's not very viable in this game because you would have to remove a lot of stuff at the campfire, which means you're not talking to Labby, which means you're not getting good Lacrima income, which means your skill tree is not as good. And then on top of that, you have the extra buffs from the deck size right so it's like it's twofold for me it's the lack of talking to uh, or speaking to labby and the fact that it, there's some compensation for having a larger deck you don't have to remove as much did i buff this i feel like i shouldn't until i have at least two last node all right Oh, I do know why you want the 25% damage increase thing. Yeah, I, I just realized it's for the party dungeon. Because that would apply to the whole team, right? Unfortunately, I can't get the, mega, the Giga Magic Chain, but it's okay. Is, isn't this a better Magic Chain? Yeah, it is. Plus 10. I'll take it on my next run. It's not a big deal. Right now, I'm just grinding anyways. These decks won't necessarily be the end game decks. So it's not a big deal. Thirty or more damage should be pretty easy. Crit boost. I need the on crit gain attack. That will really help me a lot. I'm gonna take a decent amount of damage. No lethal, but I can, I can just have damage. Try to take zero. Or like, wait, I actually took zero? Oh, it rounds down. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna try to not take too much more damage. Poison should be fine. I could just kill here. It's 
pretty good tree so far, I think. Still gotta remove stuff. Still gotta remove at least two more after this. Let's grab this node. Magic chain dodge boost, not the worst. Magic, cha magic chain, magic chain effect. Uh, I hate this. I think this node is always not good unless you have a, unless you have the top, top level magic chain that adds like 20 or something. I think that exists, right? But like magic chain adding 10, 25 percent, that would be like rounded up three probably. It's 2.5. I think it rounds up. It's like a three attack boost for three turns, which is pretty decent, I guess. But then here it's not. So it's only the case for like plus 10. It starts getting value at plus 10, I think. Campfire up top. Definitely want to work our way over there. I guess we'll just go this way. Discard one magic. This would be insane. Nice. That's huge. Very good events. I'm getting extremely lucky with events right now. Two purple cards. There's a block. Urza having like really, really bad defensive cards. Well, this is good, but two mana. And then one block and like no real dodge. Crit multiplier boost, no. No. I feel like both of these are kind of shitty. I'm gonna take the block. I feel like Urza really needs it. Did I just take as many fights as possible? I think I I think I can. I have decent AoE. A lot of HP on the Goblin Wilder. I don't have a way of reliably killing it unless I redraw. So redrawing, okay, let's say, yeah, I guess redrawing is probably worth it. If I, if I can clear the Wilder. So I can do nine and then 22, right? Which would be enough. So I just have to get lucky. That would mitigate five damage. Didn't get it, but... So that's not enough, right? 18? No, it's one off. Fame. Oh no, wait. Wrong order. So it is correct. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. Okay, I don't have a magic chain here. I'm just gonna... Attack with two. Hope for a crit. Back up. Should be enough. That's a five. <laughs> of course it's enough. Remove block on self. I really don't like these unless like especially because I'm gonna play Okay, this would be good in a team comp with a Wendy, I guess, but I'm since I wanna rely on Gray for most of my team comps because it's so fun. Really just do not want this. And I actually don't think this is ever good. These cards just feel so underwhelming to me. The damage it's just not enough. Like 14 damage. The fact that it removes block and the crit chance is cool, I guess, but pretty underwhelming. Let's see if we get some more good stuff here. Nope, just three lacrima. Pretty shitty. Sea god. Okay, this could be good. A little bit more defense as well, but extra chance at a magic chain, although it is the wrong one. I would rather have the AoE card. Still might be a decent idea. Not considering this. I feel like these, this is always trash. Like, this is embarrassing. Three mana, 18 damage. Again, like... I think some of the high-cost cards need some serious rebalancing. This doesn't make any sense to me. How, how this card could be this bad for three. I might take the block grant just because I need defense to some extent. Can't just ignore it. At least I don't think so. Maybe. I mean, it would... This would pull my deck in a better direction for, more, for the party dungeon. Because I could maybe find another AoE and just have two copies. It's a tough call. If I think I can survive, then it would be worth it. I'm gonna try. I think it's worth creating at this point. But again, maybe not, because these might not be the endgame decks. You probably just need to remove one more. I 
Or should I talk with Labby now just to get more... Yeah, I feel like I'd want activate magic chain dodge because that would give me a little bit more defense. I'm really lacking right now. So getting the extra crystals might be worth it here. Let's let's do that right now. I think I need this. I need the power very soon. Trade one card. This could be good. What is this? Conviction. Ooh, ah, oh, 13. Ah, 13 for two is so bad. Yeah, I think I'll take... This buff is not that appealing to me. It might be worse than the block just because... Like in a pinch. <laughs> Am I willing to spend fucking 2 mana on 13 block? Maybe. It does make my deck worse. I don't think this makes me that much stronger though. I might, I don't know. I'll, I'll take it. It's a pretty bad... I didn't know that could happen, actually. I didn't get anything from Labby there. That was not at all what I wanted from that. Holy shit, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm really sure what to do. I'm for sure recovering HP, but... Like, I could risk the redraw, but it doesn't feel that good. That poisons? Really? This thing is insane. At least it discards itself, actually. This is the main reason to pick this. Ten, so I can I can kill that at least. Hopefully it crits, it might it might even kill. It did, okay, nice. Oh, perfect. Actually perfect. Wow. I don't take the poison tick. Thunder Empress. I mean if we're crit stacking, it's not a terrible idea. Crit stack into AoE, and then maybe get this. I don't know what this card is. Oh, wait, did I pass this over already? Was it a bad card? Was it that two mana one that removes block on myself? I, if that's the case, I just can't. I can't pick it anyways. So I don't know if I would uh, want that or not. I'm definitely getting this node. I mean, just for the crit boost, it might be worth it already. Kinda need the 12 cards too. I'm gonna take it. I need to reduce the cost of uh, redraw. See, this is why I think larger decks are better. These are very relevant. Well, specifically the redraw cost I think is relevant. Because you want to be redrawing aggressively. Again, terrible hand. Should I full redraw? Is that too risky? No, it's almost always damage. It's not enough. Shit. I mean, it could be if I crit, which... It's actually pretty likely. I mean, I gotta go for it. If this crits, I think it's enough. Yeah, it is. And I got the extra crit boost from this as well. And this. So it's like 45%? Yeah. Good. Actually, it's more than that. It's 20 plus 10 plus 5. That's 35 plus 20. Yeah, it's like 55. Okay, good fish there. Needed, needed some more healing for sure. I can take this easy. This fight's really, really easy.
I guess it is always worth taking fights over just normal nodes, right? Prioritize that. What's the next node I want? Like, this is acceptable, I think. I'm starting to prioritize nodes that have, like, uh, recurring effects instead of, like... I think this node is actually a bait. I keep taking it. I kept taking it because the game was so easy that I just felt like I was, it, would spe it was speeding up my solo runs, but it's just not worth it. I need stuff that's that procs during the battle. Ooh, I haven't seen this guy. Mono Eye. Perfect opportunity to use this and not take any damage. Keep some block on my back pocket too. What the hell is happening here? Why does this guy keep attacking me? <laughs> Guess I'll just have the damage and then... Crack this. I'm getting a lot of attack boost from that crit thing. Is this gonna ask me for a magic chain? Guess we'll find out. Wow, amazing crit. Attack with five or more cards over two turns, very easy. All in all, it didn't take that much damage, thankfully. No crit. That's over. Alright. I kind of want the buff extension upgrade. Do I need to remove? I mean... I still think I want to talk to Lobby. I could get, say... Maze Fruit as well. Alright, so... 10 damage, plus 7. So 17 damage, removes block on self, and chance to crit. Oh, I, I don't understand this card, it just doesn't seem good. I'd rather take this. <laughs> With the dodge boost. I don't even know if I want it though. The 25% dodge boost is good, 30% chance to crit is pretty high. But again, it's a 2 mana card. It just doesn't seem like I ever want to spend that mana on that. I want, to make, I want to make my deck. Yeah, they need to buff every single 2-mana card in the game, I think. There's another reason for that. And the reason is that you only redraw as many cards as you play, right? So if you play a 2-mana card, that's at the price, unless you have extra mana, right? Usually, that's in exchange for not playing 2 cards. So, like, if you had 4-mana, you'd rather play all 4 cards, and you get a full redraw, you get to cycle through your deck faster. So it's only when you get like five mana and then you have like one, 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 two, then the two mana cards gain some value. But otherwise, they just, to me, they just seem so pointless. It's never worth it over a one mana card. So pretty much can ignore these unless they have insane enchantments, right? So, oh, it's a trade. That's a little bit more interesting. Yeah, if it's a trade, I'll take it. Still, it might be worse than a basic attack, to be, to be completely fair, but who knows. Oh my god. Oh shit, this deck is insane. Okay, I got the extension on buffs, which is going to be really good. Makes this card a lot more interesting than it was on three turns. Also, this dodge boost is a little bit better now, and the crit boost is obviously insane. So yeah, we're, we're in a good spot here. I kind of wish I had a Maze Fruit. I don't know if I want this. There's no node I want anyways, so maybe... I mean, I could 
break through this one just to open up. Like, open up the slots, but... Breakthrough enemy guard is kind of interesting, but it only only opens one node, so I would go this direction, I think. To open up three nodes. But I want cards. I kind of want to get to 15, but maybe it's correct to stay on 12. I just feel like my deck is still not good enough. I need, like, more copies of this. Stuff like that. Let's see what we can get. Man, this sucks. Pretty bad hand. Unless I crit. But it's not very likely. Hmm. Plus 12 defense. I can't believe this is like a normal fight. So annoying. I'm probably just going to keep this and hope that I draw the combo and then is what it is. Nope. Can't even... I mean, 30% chance to crit. Okay, there's like a... This is 40%, this is 50%. If any of them crit, it kills the goblin assassin. And I have some dodge chance as well, so... Good luck. Got it. Okay, huge. If it dodges. It didn't. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, that's a, <laughs> it's a little bit unfortunate. At least I got the crit, so that's what mattered most. I might use this just, <laughs> just to block two damage. Or I could use the fish. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just... Whatever. I guess that auto discards, so I'm just gonna do this. Cycle through. Actually, could have dodged too. Oh, I get the dodge from the chain. True. Wait, crit actually does work on this? Interesting. I guess it makes sense. Wait, do I even have a normal attack? What is happening? <laughs> Where is it? Wait a minute. Oh, it's right there. Crit? Two damage? No? There we go. Wait, what? Oh, no, wait. Wait, why did my crit do two damage last time? And it didn't this time? I don't know if I'm tracking that correctly. Or maybe it was the total. It just showed me the damage total. Right, let's use the fish. Shit, I should have gained the HP first. Whoops. Yeah, <laughs> there's photo Photon Slicer, but... Man, it's so terrible. Yeah, this is a no. Double events tempting. I guess I'm probably going for the tag up node. Wow. I'm maxed out. Yeah, I'm maxed out on extra skills and they're all good. They're all good. Yeah, they're all good. Holy shit. Really good stuff. I could talk to Labby. The refresh. We do not have Gajil's, uh Extra card, so might as well. 10 damage, 10% chance to stun the target, 25% chance to crit. Are you kidding me? This is like actual power creep. <laughs> what? Oh wait, no, it's actually a six damage card. Yeah, it is, no, it is still power creep, right? Or maybe not. I'm comparing it to like the raw damage hit, but I don't know. Seems kind of crazy. It's time to use this for sure. 22. I guess I'm still gonna send this here and then. I might kill this. <laughs> as bad as this looks, I think it might, might be worth it. Let's 
mitigating 9 damage. I'm, I'm more concerned about my HP than anything here. I guess I kind of have to do this, right? Did I crack the mushroom? Probably not. Should be better opportunities to use that. Oh wait, that was way overkill. Whoops. Got pretty good damage scaling, I think. This build is definitely good. I, I don't know if it's better than my first one. I don't even remember what my first one was. So this card is... Interesting. Again, the 10% chance to stun for free is kind of crazy. And then the crit chance is good, and it synergizes with my... Crit, uh, crit attack up thing. That's not a terrible idea to just grab it. And I don't necessarily have the mana to cast four cards anyways, so... Let's do it. It gets me closer to the 15. I do think I want the 15. Yeah, we're not removing anything anymore, right? Just trying to get more maze fruits. Or the first maze fruit, really. Nope. This is horrible. <laughs> oh, 40% heal is insane. This is horrible. Okay, a little bit better. Actually, much better. Still wasting. Oh, no, I'm not. Nice. Great. Crit, crit. good very good very impressive 30 damage easy hey okay, this is fine wait wait a minute hold up oh that's only eight damage okay I was gonna say, isn't that the same card almost? <laughs> I think I see that a lot in games. Uh, nope. We're not getting to the 15, it seems like. Or maybe, actually, we might. Let's see. It's not what I want. I wanted a second copy of the AoE, or. Oh, well, yeah, pretty much that. Or, I guess. Uh, no, that's pretty much it, I guess. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe I don't care about the 15. It's kind of impactful. It's like a two attack up permanently. Also applies to block. And it's very useful for things like flash. Oh no, wait. Oh no, that's only knight re equip, so no. That would not work. Hmm. Guess it's a pass. I'm having a hard time finding what I want, what I need. Any chances of a maze fruit? Probably not. Another block card? I don't hate that. I actually don't hate this. I think this card is pretty good. It might be a little bit of a liability in, in the party dungeon. Yeah, probably. It probably is a little bit of a liability, but... It depends how much... Okay, how much do I want the 15? It's only two cards away. So I could take this one and take the next one, and then have 15. That's gotta be worth it. The AoEs benefit a ton from the two attack. It's just gotta, it's gotta be worth it. I'm, I'm gonna take it. I don't think there's a big downside to taking block. Okay, unfortunately there's a chest again, but... That's okay. It's so hard for me to kill this. Alright. 
I might pop the dodge mushroom here. Just to free up a slot. Wait, where's this going? Just flat, just straight on the big guy, probably. I should have used the heal instead of the the dodge, but please kill this, please. Nice. Five or more. All right. So the dodge mushroom ended up doing nothing, but hey, it is what it is. What can I do? I don't want the dodge multiplier thing now. No, not the dodge multiplier, the crit multiplier thing. What did I take? What did I not? Or, I mean, what did I take instead of it? <laughs> I can't remember. Probably was something decent enough, right? Yeah, I don't really want that. But it is three turns, six block. It's not too bad. But I could just go to the chest, right? And probably find something better out of three. Yeah, probably. Well, I didn't. <sighs> okay. I mean, <laughs> this card is. I don't understand it actually. I don't. I don't know why this card exists when this is a thing, but it's for a chain, obviously. All right, I'm going to free up this slot and see what's up. Magic chain attack boost, not too bad. It's probably better than magic chain boost. Break through enemy guard dodge boost, nullify damage by dodging. Nope. Probably just going for magic chain boost on the next one. All right, I'll just take in the crit multiplier boost is tempting, but again, that's a two mana card. When am I ever going to find the time to cast that? There's a slight. I don't know. There's a slight chance that wind god armor is better just because it's AOE, but. I'm more concerned about. Well, then again, the final boss does spawn crystals now, so this could be a little bit more useful. I feel like this deck is not. It's close. It's really close to being satisfactory, but it it's just it's it's off. It's off by a little bit. I'm trying to think what I'd rather draw. I'll just take the AoE. I think it's more relevant. Although it is two mana. Again, like, ah, I don't know. I think I'm, uh, I'm regretting it. Oh, no, I'm not, because this fight is AoE. Focus. Let me crack these before I forget. Alright. So I could redraw, just find combo potentially. Let's just go for it. Good enough. Maybe a crit would be nice. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Great. Good damage output. Twenty eight, so that is paying off actually. Wow, this is <laughs> insane actually, what the hell? Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. But again, it's not up to my standard. 
Well, actually, it is up to my standard, but... I wish it was perfect, you know, like Gray's deck, pretty much. Like, Gray's deck, I have no... Nothing to criticize about it, really. I'm sure there's better than it, but it's... It felt like everything kind of worked out. This one, I feel like I'm a little bit shy on some stuff. Some of these cards are just kind of... Like, I would actually like to remove this in this case, but... I wouldn't be on 15 otherwise. Last node. 50, so we can do a 30 and a 20 if we if we want like a plus two here, maybe it's not that good, but might be the highest value. Just go for the chain boost and then. Yeah, I think that's the best. Chain boost armor. Breakthrough guard attack up like it's, it's just not consistently happening, so yeah. Okay. Not too bad. Honestly, just the fact that I found all these additional skills really makes this deck a lot better than it should be. Like, all of these are so good. Especially this. The HP 25% uh, or less gaining the dodge boost as uh, insurance is really, really strong. The rest of the skill tree is really solid, I think. It's more about the cards. I wish I had a second copy of the AoE. You know what I'd like in this game? I would like the option to reroll chests for lacrima, like a, a small lac a small amount of lacrima. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how much, but it would be nice if you could reroll chests or like card rewards. Well, specifically from chests. I think fights. It's okay if it gives you like one option, or maybe okay, being able to reroll from chests and maybe normal. I mean, enemies instead of offering you one card, maybe they do offer you like three cards, like a chest. But then, okay, so to balance that out, like elites would do that. Elites would give you the option to pick between three. And to balance that out, chests would have just have a higher chance of coming with an enchantment. Something like that. Or then maybe they can't be rerolled. I don't know. Something, something like that. I just feel like card selection in runs just feels not quite consistent enough. But maybe that's the goal, right? It might be just because they want you to grind, but eh. I mean, it is fun grinding for the perfect deck, and, and runs don't last that long, so it's not a huge deal at all, I think, for this game. If runs were like two hours long or an hour and a half, it would be a little bit more annoying. But, you know, 40 minute runs, it's like borderline. I think it's it's fine. Fire Dragon King mode card can now appear in Labyrinths. Fairy Sphere can now appear in Labyrinths. So that, that's a... T okay, this is a red card. 12 block AoE. It better do something else, because otherwise that's just strictly worse than than Gray's one mana card. The Ice Demon Zero's Fist. Three mana 18, that better do something else as well. Alright, either way, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.